Hello everyone and welcome to Simba Health. Please subscribe and like for more videos. Inhaling oxygen is vital for our survival, as it is transferred into red blood cells and distributed throughout the body to power our organs, tissues, muscles, and cells. However, when blood oxygen levels are low, it can lead to long-term damage to the heart, liver, and brain. Chronic lung diseases, such as asthma, bronchitis, emphysema, COPD, and pneumonia, smoking, high cortisol or anxiety levels, sleep apnea and snoring, excess sugar consumption, and nutrient deficiencies like vitamin E, B1, D, C, iron, zinc, and B12 can all contribute to low blood oxygen levels. There are three main factors that affect oxygen in the body, each with their own nutritional requirements. Acidosis, where blood pH is too low, can cause breathing problems like air hunger and frequent sighing. Taking calcium and magnesium before bed can help correct acidosis, especially if one has been in ketosis for an extended period. Vitamin C deficiency can lead to oxygen-related issues, as it is stored in the adrenal glands and helps the body retain oxygen for longer. On the other hand, vitamin E deficiency can cause muscle cramps, angina pain, and heart muscle damage, as it provides oxygen to the muscles. One can obtain vitamin C and E from natural sources like raw nuts, vegetables, and avocados. Increasing the intake of alkaline minerals such as calcium and magnesium, as well as vitamin C and E, can improve the body's oxygen-carrying capacity. If left untreated, low oxygen levels can lead to hypoxia and cause severe damage to your internal organs. In this educational video, we explore 10 warning signs and symptoms of low oxygen levels. Please keep in mind that the contents of this video are intended for educational purposes only. If you have any medical concerns, it is important to consult with your doctor. Air hunger, dyspnea, you may feel short of breath often, like a tightness in the chest, and you will sigh frequently through the day with small puffs of air as you breathe out. This is caused by the blood becoming too acidic, which stops oxygen from moving freely through the body. Dizziness and weakness, asthenia, if you feel dizzy or weak when you stand up or perform light activities, you may have low oxygen levels in your blood. You may feel off balance, and your vision may black out for a moment or two, especially around the periphery. This means that oxygen isn't reaching your muscles properly, causing weakness. Fast heartbeat, tachycardia, if your heart rate is higher than the average healthy person's rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute while you are resting, or if you hear your heartbeat when lying down in bed, this could indicate that you have low levels of oxygen in your blood. Your heart works harder to pump additional blood through the body. Please subscribe and like for more. Muscle cramps and chest pain, angina, if you suffer from chest pain, muscle cramps, or angina, it could indicate that you have low blood oxygen levels, and you need to consume more electrolyte minerals, vitamin E, and B vitamin-rich foods to help oxygenate your blood. Heavy legs, if you become out of breath easily when climbing stairs or walking up a slight hill, you are likely lacking oxygen in your blood. Your thighs and calves may feel very heavy because not enough oxygen is reaching the muscles or you have a weaker heart due to poor fitness. Brittle nail slash ridges slash pale, onychoschizia, if your nail is very pale with a pinker strip of color across the top, this could indicate anemia where there isn't enough hemoglobin in your blood, so less oxygen is being transported to your nail bed. If your nails are very brittle, break easily, or the vertical lines have become deep ridges, this is also a sign of anemia and nerve damage to the nail bed caused by low oxygen levels. Blue tinge to skin, cyanosis in some cases, you may develop a bluish color or tinge on your skin or your lips. This condition is called cyanosis and happens when not enough oxygen is reaching the tissues. This can develop very suddenly and is usually accompanied by shortness of breath. Please seek medical help immediately in this situation. 
Confusion, delirium if you feel confused, lethargic, tired, and irritated, it may be caused by a deficiency in vitamin B1, thiamine, which is causing damage to the nerves and neurons in your brain, often triggered by eating too much sugar or refined carbohydrates. If you experience some of these symptoms, visit your doctor for a quick checkup. They will use an oximeter to check your blood oxygen levels. Headaches. If you experience frequent headaches, especially when you wake up in the morning, it could be a sign of low oxygen levels in your blood. Lack of oxygen can cause blood vessels in the brain to dilate, leading to headaches. Sleep disturbances. Low oxygen levels can disrupt your sleep and cause you to wake up frequently during the night. You may also experience vivid dreams or nightmares. Rapid breathing, hyperventilation, hyperventilation is a condition where you breathe faster than normal, leading to a decrease in carbon dioxide levels in your blood. This can lead to low oxygen levels in your blood as well, making it difficult to catch your breath. Increased heart rate during exercise, if you notice that your heart rate increases more than usual during exercise, it could be a sign that your body is struggling to get enough oxygen. This could be due to poor lung function or low blood oxygen levels. Fatigue and weakness, if you feel excessively tired or weak, even after getting enough sleep, it could be a sign of low oxygen levels in your blood. This is because your muscles and organs are not getting enough oxygen to function properly. Let's explore 10 simple lifestyle tips that can enhance your oxygen levels. Incorporate heme iron rich foods like oily fish, shellfish, high quality grass fed beef, and liver in your diet. These foods are also a natural source of vitamin B12, which increases red blood cells, storing more oxygen and carrying it through the blood. Cut back on refined carbohydrates like sugar, soda, flour, bread, wheat, pasta, pancakes, and biscuits. These foods deplete antioxidants and can make your blood acidic, lowering oxygen levels. Eat vitamin-e-rich foods like sunflower seeds, avocados, extra virgin olive oil, hazelnuts, Swiss chard, and leafy green vegetables to boost heart function and oxygen levels. You can also opt for powerful supplemental tocotrienols. Take long walks in areas surrounded by trees and plant life for at least 30 minutes daily. Gentle exercise, fresh air, and essential oils released from trees help boost circulation and oxygenate blood. Incorporate low glycemic berries with high antioxidants and resveratrol such as blueberries, strawberries, gooseberries, and acai berries in your diet. Drink at least 1 liter of mineral water daily to hydrate your body and thin your blood for improved oxygen exchange. You can also make a healthy drink by mashing 3 tablespoons of berries, adding 1 quarter teaspoon of Celtic slash Himalayan salt, and 16 ounces carbonated mineral water. Practice abdodiaphragmatic breathing by placing one hand on your belly and the other on your chest, breathing deeply and slowly to a count of 4 into your belly and breathing out slowly to a count of 6. This technique helps distribute air into your lungs and reduces the stress hormone cortisol, promoting peace and relaxation. Practice deep breathing exercises such as pranayama, which can increase oxygen levels in the blood and improve lung capacity. You can also try pursed lip breathing or alternate nostril breathing. Incorporate antioxidant-rich foods into your diet, such as dark chocolate, green tea, and berries, to neutralize free radicals that can harm your cells and reduce oxygen levels. Get enough sleep each night, as lack of sleep can reduce oxygen levels and compromise your immune system. Try to get at least 7 to 8 hours of quality sleep per night. Manage stress through relaxation techniques such as meditation, yoga, or tai chi which can improve oxygen levels by reducing stress hormones and promoting relaxation. Consider using oxygen therapy, which involves breathing in pure oxygen through a mask or nasal cannula to increase oxygen levels in the blood. This may be recommended by a doctor for individuals with low oxygen levels due to certain medical conditions. Give these techniques a try and see which works best for you. 
some may require stronger vitamins to boost oxygen levels. To learn more about these vitamins, check out the video linked on the screen. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like.